Is Mikolash the cheesiest boss in Bloodborne? There are at least four ways to cheese the Mikolash fight. This footage is all captured on Shad PS4 and is as much of a showcase of the emulator as it is a short tutorial. I was curious to see if all the methods still worked in the emulator while testing Diego's newest mod to attempt to fix blood and rainbow textures. Theoretically, the cheeses should be totally unaffected, but with increased FPS and mods, you never know how it might behave. The first phase is relatively the same every time if you know where to go. You will want to redirect Miko into his first torture chamber room by going down the end of the first hallway, following him until this corner, then doubling back and pushing him into his sex dungeon, I mean torture chamber. Take out any threatening skellies right outside the room. You will want to slightly aggro him to force him to walk out of the room and into the small hallway where it's much easier to bully him. Walk up to the edge of the room until Miko starts to walk towards you, then back out of the hallway and get ready for him to get into the hallway. Once he's there, buff up if you'd like, then start attacking him until you're running low on stamina. Strafe his tentacle attack by backing up and going left or right, and repeat until the phase transition. Even if you mess up, it's pretty easy to correct and continue attacking him. Now phase two. There are a handful of ways to deal with him here and you just need to direct him where you wanna go. The most common method you'll see in no hit runs is the poison knife strat. If you get him in the middle library room that has the mirror he can walk through, all you need to do is get above him, throw two poison knives and wait. For whatever reason, he just kind of sits there and takes it. You'll have to reapply the poison a few times and Miko will continue to stand there ready for your abuse. The second method involves getting him in the same room, but approaching him from the same level. This is quicker, but a little trickier. Fall down in the room next to him, take out the skeletons in the hallway leading up to him, then slowly and carefully walk around him to the right, aggroing and killing the skeleton next to him. If you accidentally go down the stairs, you'll force him to move back up to the first level and you'll have to repeat the process of getting him back into position, but it's an easy fix. When you're ready, shoot Miko with your pistol, causing him to fall back out of the mirror in the room. This is where you start the loop. Get close to the mirror, hit him once, he will loop back through the mirror, then you rinse and repeat until he's dead. It's faster, but a little easier to mess up than the poison knife strat, and a little more active. The third method is much more difficult to pull off, but also faster. We want him to be in the same room as the poison knife strat, but this time we are going to land on him as he makes a break for the other room, and trap him in the doorway. With the tricked saw cleaver, line up here on the edge, aim towards the left side of the doorway, roll and press R1. If you hit him, immediately perform a recovery roll and get between him and the doorway. This will force him to run in place. Now you have an opportunity to do a few charged R2s and a trick weapon attack before he starts attacking you. My stats and buffs weren't high enough to kill him that quickly, so this method is a little ugly. If you mess that up, he will run into the room and close the door behind him. The only way to get in the room is dropping from above. However, there is a fourth cheese you can do if this happens. Get above him and get close enough to the edge in order to target him. Shoot him once and then run back to the sealed door as before. Take out any skellies in your way. This time he will be aggro, making him close enough to the door where you can hit him through it. With a little bit of patience, you can easily take him out without much of an issue and without stepping foot in his little torture chamber. And there you have it. Those are the methods that I'm aware of, but something tells me there are even more little cheesy tricks you can pull on our boy Miko. You just have to have the right level of insight. This build of Shad PS4 has been running really smoothly for me, but there are still some bugs and texture glitches here and there. Overall, it's pretty amazing how much of this game is just as I remembered it on the PlayStation. Thank you to everybody involved and all the work that you've done. And especially to Diego who keeps putting out new mods and fixes for all the little things that everybody's asking for. Happy hunting.